21-year-old Tina Stewart was a star athlete at Middle Tennessee State University. Though she was characterized as being extremely feminine off the basketball court, she was a strong competitor on the court. She attended MTSU on a basketball scholarship and had a bright future ahead of her. Tragically, an altercation with her new roommate would result in her death and Tina would never have the chance to live out her dreams. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more stories. Tina was beginning her second year of college and had just moved in with Shantarika Madden, a freshman. Despite the fact that Tina and Shantarika didn't know one another, when they first moved in together, they initially appeared okay and even pleasant. They battled with each other's personalities, however, and things quickly changed. Tina's family described her as extremely clean, while Shantarika's family described her as messy. They often argued over the home and the fact that Tina's boyfriend, KC, stayed over often. Since Tina was a well-known athlete, others began to notice the constant fighting. Tina even began posting on social media about how much she despised Shantarika. People reported that both Tina and Shantarika were unpleasant to each other's friends. It was characterized as a toxic living environment that gradually worsened until the conflict unfortunately turned deadly. When Shantarika and a friend returned home on March 2, 2011, they decided to smoke some marijuana in her room since they believed no one else was at home. Tina, who was at home, was unhappy about Shantarika's smoking since being an athlete even exposure to secondhand smoke may result in her getting in trouble and losing her scholarship. Tina made the decision to report her roommate to the police, even tweeting, I just called the police on my roommate, I feel like a snitch, but I hate that bee. Shantarika became even more agitated when the cops showed up at their residence. That evening, Tina and Shantarika got into a fight about it. Shantarika's friend Renee was there and reported hearing them yell at one other before the argument finally ended. I heard, she got a knife, uh, stop, my heart hurt, stop. I wasn't sure who was saying it, I wasn't sure what was going on. Renee Reese says she was smoking marijuana with Shantarika Madden when her roommate called the apartment courtesy officer. Afterwards, there was a confrontation and Madden returned with blood on her arm. Shantarika was like, we have to go. She was like, come on, we have to go. I was like, what happened? She was like, we have to go. I was like, where's Tina? She was like, she left. And so I went back to grab my purse. And when I came out, Shantarika had a blanket and was sticking it in the bag. Renee said she left the residence after Shantarika assured her everything was all right. KC, Tina's boyfriend, was concerned when he received a text from Tina's phone telling him to cancel their plans for the evening. KC chose to visit Tina's apartment despite receiving the text to not come. The lights were out when KC arrived, but Tina's vehicle was still there, so he entered. Shantarika addressed him and informed him that Tina wasn't present before she walked out of the apartment. What KC would discover would be a tragic scene. That's when I hit the lights. I hit the lights. And then I seen on the, I seen on the floor. I was like, I, I, really? I was like, man, she playing? And that's when I grabbed her. Like, I grabbed her. And then I seen all the blood. And Tina was barely alive when KC arrived on the scene, which was awful. She had suffered a stab wound. Prior to calling Adrian, Tina's father, KC first dialed 911. Tina was taken urgently to the hospital, but passed away there. A stab wound to Tina's chest that struck an artery caused her death. The search was on to find Shantarika, and she was eventually discovered hiding in a neighboring parking lot. She had also removed the knife used in the crime. It had been dumped after being wrapped in a towel. After being arrested, Shantarika Madden was charged with second-degree murder. As a result of her attempts to dispose of the murder weapon, she was also charged with tampering with evidence. Shantarika claimed throughout her trial that she killed Tina out of self-defense. She said that both females had shoved and pushed one another throughout their altercation. She said that, while Tina was on top of her, she grabbed for a knife. The evidence, however, showed that Tina had been beaten, stabbed, and had two swollen eyes. Additionally, Shantarika texted Tina's boyfriend and friends to give the impression that Tina was still alive. On March 2, 2011, the jury delivered its verdict. Will stand up, please? All right, we the jury finds as follows in regard to Ms. Madden. We the jury finds the defendant guilty of the lesser included offense of second degree murder. In regard to count two, we the jury find as follows the defendant Ms. Madden guilty of tampering with evidence. 
she was sentenced to 25 years in jail plus an additional four years for tampering with evidence for the second-degree murder of her roommate. It was reported that Shanterica was emotionless throughout the reading of her verdict at trial. In an effort to maybe get a new trial, Shanterica is attempted to appeal her case. She alleges that she was mistreated and provided little legal advice. Her appeal was denied. Shanterica Madden is currently being held at the West Tennessee State Penitentiary and has filed several appeals since her guilty verdict back in 2012. Madden will be eligible for parole in the year 2036, two years before the end of her sentence. What happened to Tina Stewart was a tragedy. She was taken too soon and didn't get a chance to live out her dreams. My condolences to her friends and family. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.